Yo, what is up guys? It is Kobe here today with my first official Titanfall video. Out of all the games coming out on the next gen, this is by far what I'm most excited for. Finally a brand new game to play, not just another reboot, just a totally new experience. Now in this video I'm going to be talking about and going over the different types of pilots, and I also got some leaked footage showing them all off. Now unlike Call of Duty where all the characters are the same and you fully customize your class loadout, with Titanfall there are three different types of pilots, each one with a different weapon loadout. So let's take a look at these. The first one we have is the Assault Pilot. This pilot comes equipped with the R101C medium range assault rifle and a B3 wingman revolver. He also comes equipped with the Sidewinder which rapid fires rockets and is best used against titans. Next we have the Tactical Loadout which comes with the Smart Pistol as well as the B3 wingman revolver. The Smart Pistol is actually really interesting because it locks on multiple opponents and then rapidly fires all the bullets at them, sort of like an aimbot kind of thing, you don't really have to aim just lock on. It also comes equipped with the MGL or Magnetic Grenade Launcher. Because it is magnetic, it is really effective to use against enemy titans. Rather than just a normal grenade launcher, these ones will actually stick to the titan, uh, which is pretty cool. And lastly, we have the CQB pilot, which is obviously used for close quarters battles. It comes equipped with the EVA-8 semi-automatic shotgun, as well as the B3 wingman revolver. From gameplay, I've seen the shotgun looks pretty strong and will kill an enemy with one shot up close, but I'm just not sure how much the damage gets reduced as distance increases. Uh, that's just something we're going to have to find out and you know maybe have to patch later. This pilot also comes with the Archer, which is a lock-on anti-titan rocket launcher. Not sure if it's only a lock-on or a free fire as well, but it looks pretty strong regardless. Also, if you haven't noticed, there is room for different attachments for these guns. We have seen a few from different gameplays, but no full list has been leaked yet. Once it is, I'll definitely make a video about all of those. Lastly, there are special abilities and ordinances that each player can choose. The only special ability for pilots that we know so far is Cloak, where you become invisible for a short time. And the two ordinances that we know of is the Frag Grenade and Satchel. Uh, the Satchel, of course, is just like a C4, and a Frag Grenade is just a normal Frag Grenade. But there you go, Assault, Tactical, and CQB. Obviously, the customization is not quite as prevalent as it is with Call of Duty. However, I do believe the gameplay will speak for itself, and we aren't going to be really missing all the little perks and grenades and you know all that extra crap that comes with Call of Duty but I do feel like there is just enough useful customization that not everyone will be running around with the same loadouts so you know there will be some strategy involved as well however this is only half of it in my next video I'll be going over the Titans and their different loadouts so definitely subscribe if you are new you do not want to miss that if you could also leave a like I would really appreciate it it helps me out a bunch thank you for watching and I'll see you next time